Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gio from Smart Home Makers, and today we're going to look at Home Assistant 2021 08 release. We're going to look at the pre release notes to see what is coming imminently to Home Assistant. Let's just get started. So, the link will be in the description down below for these release notes. At the time of filming, this is still in beta, but it will be released very soon. Actually, it will be released tomorrow. So, this video, if you're watching it now, is hot off the press. So, scrolling down, let's have a look on what is the main focus of this release. So main focus of this release, I can see it's home energy management, which is crucial, especially nowadays that all countries are focusing on that net zero emissions. In terms of the energy management in your home, there's going to be three focuses in Home Assistant. The grid, so the energy that you're pulling from your provider, solar panels if you have any, and then the consumption of the devices that you have in your home, for example, smart plugs or Shelly 1Ls, things like that. So let's look at integrating the electricity grid. What I can see over here, we have tariffs and we're going to be able to set different tariffs for peak and off peak, which a lot of energy providers actually do. And there's some hardware options to actually measure what actually is being consumed in your home. You can use CT clamp sensors that will connect to your meter and will actually measure the current that's actually going through. You can see something like this, for example, over here, mentioning uh, that this is standard in the Netherlands, Belgium and Luxembourg currently, but it probably could be in different countries. So you can see this thing's actually connected in. So in this way, you can actually then display all of the, uh, how much energy you're consuming. An alternative is you can use a pulse counter and this pulse counter here, looks at how many times the LED light flashes and then make some calculation, make some assumptions. So you can see that we're getting a lot more information now that actually what we're consuming in our home, make our homes ultimately more efficient. Solar panels are going to be very useful for those of you that actually are measuring how much energy you're actually currently receiving. I'm not sure if there's going to be support for battery storage and how that's going to integrate into Home Assistant, but that will be interesting to see down the line. And as I mentioned, in terms of the devices, we have smart plugs and smart relays that are able to tell us how much the single device is actually consuming in our home. So with all of that together, we have a comprehensive picture of the energy situation. But let's look into what else is coming in the next release of Home Assistant. To complement the energy monitoring, there's a new card in the Lovelace called the Statistics Graph. If this card, we're going to be able to display minimum values, maximum values, mid values, and summing values. There's going to be a new sidebar capability. So again, dashboards are improving. Uh, the Gorge card is going to have a needle too, if that's something that you are missing. Last release, the select entity was introduced. In this release, we're going to see the siren entity being introduced. There's some improvements with locks. I'm actually recording a lot of videos about locks and smart locks coming soon on the channel. So remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It seems like we're going to have more features like if the lock is jammed and, and that's also going to be exposed to uh, Alexa and Google Assistant. Some improvement with the device template functions. Before you get all excited and start installing the new version of Home Assistant, check out this video first and you'll see the exact steps that I take each time before a new version of Home Assistant gets released and before I actually upgrade it. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. See you in the next one. This is Joe from Smart Makers. See ya.